If you're watching this, you probably have an interest in joining Mid Journey, but which subscription is right for you? Let's go over your options. When you get to the pricing page, you'll be given three different choices. We're going to ignore the one on the right for now. Let's focus on the first two. You have your basic plan and your standard plan. $10 a month versus $30 a month. The $20 difference actually comes with a lot of benefits, but let's start with the basic plan. Why would you choose the $10 a month? This is for someone who has no idea what Mid Journey is like and just wants to give it a try for themselves. You're going to get limited generations, 200 a month, and Mid Journey is going to generate four pictures with each prompt. So technically you get around like 800 pictures, you know what I mean? Which is isn't bad for $10, but I'm telling you, once you get started and you type something that you're imagining and you realize that Mid Journey can create it, your mind is just going to explode with all the possibilities and you'll try this and you'll try that. And I bet the basic plan is not going to meet your needs. So again, this is really just for someone who has never tried Mid Journey before and wants to see what it's like. A $10 trial, not that bad of a suggestion. I'll quickly go over the features that come with every plan. You get general rule commercial terms which means you own the pictures you make and you can do whatever you want with them you get access to the member gallery which i think is just the main mid journey website where you can see all the pictures you've made at once you also get optional credit top ups which means you can just pay for more fast hours as you want but while i'm here i will say do not get the yearly billing option with the basic plan you can save 20 percent if you switch to annual billing so instead of ten dollars a month it would be eight dollars a month but i promise you if you're into mid journey the 200 generations per month is never going to satisfy you so there's no need to commit to that for a year long especially for two dollars less and if you notice you become a fan of the service this is when i would suggest you move to the standard plan the 30 dollars per month now this isn't exactly cheap but this is kind of a mind-blowing product so the price seems to be worth it in my eyes but that might change from person to person you do get two significant benefits in the standard plan first off you get 15 fast hours for your generations as well as unlimited relaxed generations unlimited but what's the difference between fast hours and relaxed it's really simple when you generate using fast hours mid journey will run your prompt basically instantly like you won't have to wait while when you generate in relaxed mode you enter a queue a lineup in fact you can go to the mid journey status page and see just how long the estimates are at any given moment let's take a look at the version 5 model if you're using fast hours it'll take less than one second for your job to start that's the beauty of fast hours and right now, if you were to run it on relax, it would take around three minutes for your job to start. Is that worth it? Probably because it's free and unlimited. And while we're here, I want to make this clarification. Think about it like this. Everybody who uses the relax mode gets put into a line one after the other. So you have to wait your turn. But the more you use it, the farther back you go in the line to prevent people from spamming the system and abusing it. This queue, this line, resets every month so the first time you use relax mode you're not going to get sent back that far in the line but if you use it a lot and you use it a lot over 30 days it's going to start taking you a long time to generate using relax mode and how many generations are you going to get with 15 fast hours well each generation on average costs about one gpu minute so one fast hour is equal to about 60 generations with 15 fast hours you'll get on average around 900 generations each month that seems like a good deal and with the 30 dollars plan you get unlimited relaxed generations unlimited you just might have to wait a little longer to see those pictures a little longer overall i would say the standard plan is going to be perfect for most people 900 generations per month unless you're really experimenting with mid journey for your job or just for some crazy rabbit hole digging i think 15 fast hours plus the unlimited generations will probably be more than enough for you and if that's the case should you switch to the annual billing for 20 percent off instead of 30 
$30 a month. You could be paying $24 a month. And are those savings important to you? Maybe, it's something for you to consider. But now, what is the difference between the standard plan and the pro plan? There are a couple key changes. Let's just go through them in order. The first is now you get double the fast hours, 30 fast hours. Four pictures per generation means on average, you'll see about 7,200 unique pictures per month. That's a lot. It can honestly be a little overwhelming just using the fast hours in any given month. You still get the unlimited relax generations, but here's a big difference. Stealth image generation. What does that mean? It means now you'll be able to generate in private, which means your pictures will not show up on the Mid Journey website. By default, every picture ever made is public. And this is by design. Midjourney wants the community to share and learn from each other. They don't want people generating in private. However, they recognize that it's important to some people so you can pay for the opportunity. I personally find this very important, so I pay for the pro plan because I want the privacy. In fact, before you could add the privacy option to your other plans. So if you were on the basic plan, you could spend an extra $20 a month for the privacy. I actually had the standard plan and I added on the privacy. So I went from $30 a month to $50 a month. And then when they came out with the pro plan and offered the annual billing, the pro plan went from $60 a month to $48 per month. I was paying 50 for 15 fast hours. Then it became clear that I could spend $2 less per month and get 15 more fast hours. It was honestly too good of a deal to pass up. So I went with the pro plan build annually. I know that is not going to be feasible for most people so I don't think this would be for you. In fact, I would only recommend the pro plan to someone who would use Midjourney for their job. I'm lucky because of YouTube I can write off the pro plan as a business expense, but most people wouldn't be able to do that. And $48 a month or $60 a month, that's a lot to spend, but maybe not a lot to spend on a hobby. Like if you go golfing, you're spending way more than $60 a month. So is the pro plan worth it for you? you let me know. However, there is one more big benefit. Now you get 12 concurrent fast jobs. You'll notice on the other plans, you get three. And what that means is that you can imagine a dog, a cat, and a turtle. And Midjourney will make all of those at the same time. However, if you also wanted to see a rabbit, the rabbit would have to wait for the other three to finish before it started. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You can make three generations at any given time. And any more generations you try to make before the first three are done will be put into a waiting list. However, with the pro plan, you can make up to 12 images at once. Like you could type out 12 different prompts or use permutations or the repeat function and have 12 different generations get made really quickly. It's a pretty big workflow change. And if you're experimenting with Midjourney, I would say that the pro plan is very beneficial. There's a breakdown of the subscription plans. Let me know which ones you found works best for you. Leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.